like I got no brakes. Raw is the realest, I'm no fake. When I'm on the microphone, all my haters shake. Better things in my mind, writing rhymes all the time. Up in eyes of the blind, cause I got the fresh lines. And that I is the music the of Roar I'm Akash, a by the way that I shine. who I is a Sudanese top, rapper who lives in Australia. Or from Australia? Are you from Australia? Yep, live in Australia. And you're in town for the ninth annual African World Film Festival that is running at the History Museum. Starts tonight and it runs through Sunday. Roar Akat, welcome to Big 550 KTRS. Thank you, guys. Uh, a Sudanese rapper who lived in Australia. Yep. That is a story, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so is a. Uh, how did you? Where did you find your love of rap living in the Sudan? Um. Well, it was when I lived in Egypt. Um. A lot of the big um, American hip hop scene would pop up on TV. Right. But I would just listen to it. But I never decided to pick up a pen and started writing back home. But when I came to Australia, and then, <clears throat> um, that's when I started kind of getting to music, which was around 2012 at the end of it. And then from then, it just carried on. You're 19 years old. So how long did you live in Sudan? When did you leave Sudan and move to Australia? Um, I lived in Sudan for a few years. Um, I left when I was probably five or four. And then from there, we moved to Egypt for three to two years. Mm -hmm. And then while we were in Egypt, my mom was getting all the visa stuff sorted out so we could move from there. And yeah. Tell us about your movie. Um, so my movie, which is uh, titled Raw, is directed by Natalie Cunningham. Mm -hmm. And it's a very it's a short film, about 14, 13 minutes. And it just focuses on my journey from back home to where I live now, which is Australia. And it kind of looks at the difference that, um, that I lived, the circumstances that I lived in back in Sudan and how I'm living right now in Australia. So you fled Sudan. Yep. And so is most of your music, your rap, because it's very difficult to break into the yep. you know, rap industry. Is it most mostly about your life and, and your uh, struggle? Well, in the way I <coughs> sort my things out is that as a solo artist, mm -hmm. I'm focused on telling stories about my life and society, mm -hmm. but as a, I have a hip hop band group, and we go by the name of TLB, which stands for Together Like Brothers. These guys are with the hip hop hype songs, I guess, and we still tell stories through the songs, but it's more energetic. Mm. How much do you remember um, from your days in the Sudan? <laughs> um, I'm actually surprised because as a little kid, um, I moved around a lot. So um, those my stories is, I don't know, it kind of freaks me out because yeah. mm -hmm. I was so young, but I still remember heaps. So um, you live in Australia now. You're from the Sudan. You're in America. What is your perception of America? Um, America so far has been great, um, but every country or nation has its <coughs> ups and downs. Um, there's bad things about a country. There's good things about a country, and that's that's how it is. That's that's life, and I can't say America has its problems. Australia has its problems, so um, I'm not gonna generalize one country because we all have literally the same problems that we need to solve. How is your so? How is your rap career so far? How's it going? It's going really well. Um, I met with some big names. Um, one of the name drop for us. Okay. <laughs> um, so this actually. It was um, a really cool story because um, back home, there's, we have these like um, awards that happen every year on Australia Day. Yes. So I won Australia Young Citizen of the Year. I mean, Fitzroy um, Yarra Young Citizen of the Year. And I made the headlines on the newspaper. And then have you guys heard of Molly Meldrum? Oh, he interviewed the big so. names, Michael Jackson, okay. Beyonce. And he actually found the newspaper and he saw me on it and then he got in touch with me and invited me to his house so we could talk about music and he wanted me to kind of make some songs with um big guys such as um, i forgot the band's name um but it was a four five five boy band and he just new direction uh nah <laughs> right. that was worth a shot oh it was just this crew okay. uh, and 
I made a track with Bonnie Anderson, who she won uh, Australia Got Talent at the age of 12. Sure. Oh. And okay. But that song hasn't been released yet. So. All right. Roy Akat is with us. He's uh, part of the, uh, it's, it's, a doc, it's a documentary called Roar, and it's uh, debuting or here at the 9th Annual African American Film Festival at the History Museum. Runs uh, today through uh, Sunday. Can you, can you do a little rap for us? Um, keep it clean. I'll keep it clean. <laughs> The grind never stop till I get the shine, till I get signed. Spitting hot lines, fly the nail lines, nobody take mine. Watch out, cause I'm coming like Batman, creeping to the back with the cape, trying to get the cake. She has moved weights, huh? I cause damage like Dennis, the menace, no menace, let me speak Spanish, huh? Hasta pronto, see you later. The rap die Vader, don't vanish to another planet, together like brothers. Just landed, clear the airstrip, can you manage? The hottest package, rhymes never average. So savage, got them all scarred up. They need bandage, they need ambulance, ah, uh -huh. they need madness, right? <laughs> go on, there you go, Roar Akat, uh, part of a documentary, yes. uh, the uh, History Me Museum tonight through uh, Sunday. It's the ninth annual African uh, World Film Festival uh, from the Sudan, now from Australia. Uh, welcome to America. Hope you enjoy it and uh, safe travels. Thank you so much, guys. You got it. 8:51.